Jesu, Amen. Oh, to fe gan. Kamo e da wo re ko. Loruko Jesu ta no wa gbe jade. Amen. Awon ti ya ni pekun, ki ya ni pekun je ti won. Amen. Be ni ko ni. Amen. Lo pe e ko yi Olorun wa ko gogo. Amen. Ayo e gbala, ayo e yi. Ko je ti awa Olugo. Amen. Loruko Jesu Kristi Oluwa wa. Amen. Amen. I All of you, God's people, we want to continue on the exposition of Psalm 49. Verses 7, 8, 9, and 15. In the Bible reference, what did David do? Prophet David says, The redemption of the soul of man is very precious. So there is no creature of God who can redeem a fellow creature. How precious is the redemption of soul? So much that no human creature can do it. The prophet says, Anyone who is redeemed will live forever. And whoever lives forever will not see death again and will not see the grave again. In verse 15, the prophet gives us good news that there is a being who can redeem us sons of men. And that is God the creator himself. 
that he is the redeemer God who made us sons of men for himself because of the sin of Adam and whose judgment gave us to Satan death and hell David, Prophet David says, In great mercy, it could come and will redeem us to himself. Last week, we read some Bible references to establish the word of the prophet. One that whoever the Redeemer redeems will live forever and not see the grave again and the second point that it is God himself the sole creator of all men who made a pronouncement of death on man when Adam sinned is the redeemer that could give the pronouncement of reconciliation to us sons of men and then will be redeemed and will we'll come back to him in time and in eternity among the Bible references we read last week we want to start with one so that we can connect last week's teaching to this week's teaching. And the Bible reference we take off with is the word of the Apostle Paul that corroborates the sayings of Prophet David that whoever God redeems and he makes him belong to himself in this world and in heaven forever and ever and that person belongs to God and whoever belongs to God in this world and eternity such won't see the grave again the reference is Romans 14 verse 7 through 9 oh yes Yes. Yes. Oh yes. yes. Oh yes, in this Bible reference, the Apostle Paul corroborates the saying of Prophet David that whoever God redeems belongs to God forever and ever. In this world and eternity, he belongs to God. And redeemed of God. God will not end over to Satan death and hell again. So Paul, so Paul says, We who are the redeemed, because the Lord has redeemed us, there is none of us that lives for himself. There is none of us who dies for himself. What is his justification? He says when we are in the world, we are the Lord's who redeems us for himself. And even when we die, we die for the Lord. The Lord who has redeemed us for himself said because of this, whether we live 
in this world or the end comes to our physical bodies and we depart this world it is the Lord who owns us in verse 9 says that we might belong to the Lord whether we live in the world and when we depart this world the Lord spent himself on the cross and bought us with his death and he rose on the third day and ascended to heaven that he might forever live to be our Lord the Lord of the redeemed when we live and when we die this Bible reference which we read last week we said it is visible there that it corroborates the saying of prophet David that whoever God redeems such lives forever and they won't see the grave so according to the word of the apostle Paul whoever is a redeemed of God and it is God who owns him throughout his lifetime it is God who owns him when he departs this world and his body dies physically such a person lives on for God and will not see the grave again this saying of Paul even our redeemer said it when he came as man to redeem us he makes us understand that he is coming to the world from heaven that he came to make us sons of men is belonging. He called this world his farm that he cultivated. And we human beings. He called us his crops, his harvest. He said he came to harvest us. That it might be the Lord of harvest who came to harvest his crops on the farm. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 35, let's hear what the Redeemer said. Jesus received Yes. 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 Oh yes. Oh yes. Go on. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the voice of the Redeemer. See, human beings are precious to him. So now, in Matthew chapter 9 that we have read, from verse 35, the Bible says, Jesus the Redeemer. Oh, first Henry. See, look, oh, oh. walked on his feet to all cities. Oh, first Henry. See, little, oh, oh. He walked on his feet to all villages. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Seeking oh, wow. about oh, wow. his sheep, sons of men. Oh, no, he, 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 and he was preaching the gospel, the good news of the kingdom of God. He was preaching to men. 
that the kingdom of God would come. And that the kingdom is good. Eleda, the creator. When he was angry. In the garden of Eden. And expelled Adam and Eve. So he expelled humanity. And hell became our abode. We became children of Satan, mortals. Now, in great mercy, as the Redeemer, He forsook His throne. He put on the body of man and was walking about on His feet to all cities and villages. Then he was not speaking words of judgment because he came as the forgiveness of sin. In mercy, he came instead of speaking words of judgment to human beings. He was preaching to them good news, he was informing them. Of the goodness of the kingdom of God. The king came. And he was calling men to the kingdom of God. No wonder. Maybe this is what Paul remembered. In Hebrews. Chapter 3. Verse 1. When he called the redeemed. Where he calls us holy brethren who have been called to heaven, holy brethren, but the cause of the heavenly calling, what the Redeemer was doing in Matthew 9, perhaps Paul remembered that that the Redeemer went about to her cities and villages, preaching the good news of the kingdom of God to men even Mark says how he was preaching in Mark chapter 1 verse 14 and verse 15 said he preached in this manner said human beings that time is at end that time prophesied by the prophets the time of joy the time of the kingdom of God the time of the glory of God is at hand the kingdom of God is at end so you sons of men Repent, change to me your Lord and accept the gospel so that you can reign with God. This Matthew 9. The Bible says he was preaching the good news of the kingdom of God to men. The king of heaven came down from his throne. He was going from city to city, from village to village, from countryside to countryside. Preaching the kingdom of God to men. Matthew continues. And those who came to him, they are diseases. He banished them. All their sicknesses. He banished them. To show that it was he, the king of heaven, who had come. And that in his kingdom, there will be no sickness. In his kingdom, there will be no disease. All things that would not be in his kingdom, he banished them from the bodies of men. Matthew continues. In chapter 9, it says, When he saw the multitude, many people came to him, many people gathered at the king. Yes, a transformation has come. It is saying that God detests, it is saying that makes God expel one from himself. But whoever obeys God and does not commit a sin of disobedience God will love him very dearly and he will draw him to himself now we said that king came and the 
the multitudes gathered at him. But in the garden of Eden, when Adam sinned, he expelled him with his wife. It sinned that he banished them. But now when he came with forgiveness, when the Redeemer came to draw us sons of men to himself, we read that the multitudes, many people gathered at him. He didn't send them away, he embraced them. Yes, he loves men very much. The Bible says, when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because he owned them. He realized that they were all weary. All governors, all presidents, all professors, all VCs, all millionaires, all professors, all intellectuals, all great men of this world. We are all invalids. Human beings are invalids. There is, yes, a, a, a disease. There's a disease. There's a disease that is universal. And that is the disease of death and going to the next and going to hell. Anyone who is not redeemed, whatever he calls himself, is an invalid. There is a disease of death in him. And if he dies in the disease of death and is not redeemed, he will go down to hell. When he gets to hell, he will surely go to the lake of fire. When he saw the multitudes, the, the creator was moved with compassion. The one who came to redeem them, because they were weary and they lacked shepherd. They didn't have a shepherd. They didn't have the Lord. They were scattered abroad like sheep without shepherd. When he saw them in that state, he told his disciples the twelve apostles said my disciples harvest is plenteous but laborers laborers that we gather crops into the barn of the Lord are very few so he said in my twelve disciples pray my behalf to the Lord of harvest so that he will send forth laborers into his harvest that is there are many souls that will be redeemed so my disciples pray my behalf to the creator of souls that you raise servants of God servants of eternal life that we shout eternal life servants of the kingdom of God that we shout the kingdom of God servants, messengers salvation that we shout salvation messengers of the coming glory of God that we proclaim the coming glory of God those who are like the Savior that was going from city to city, village to village. And all his teachings had a theme. The good news of the coming kingdom of God. So he said, disciples, pray in my behalf to the Lord of the harvest so that he will send so winners who will be proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God through the administrations proclamation of the kingdom of God proclamation of salvation proclamation of the redemption world so that many souls will be redeemed said pray that is it mattered much to the redeemer for for many to become the redeemed so that they will reign with God. What are we driving at? In this reference, when the creator came, the word of God that made all men, when he came to the world, 
road and was going about preaching the gospel. He revealed his mind to us that he desired that all men become the redeemed. So he said, he told the disciples to pray to the creator of men that he called the Lord of the harvest that he should raise preachers of the kingdom of God. That is according to the word of Paul. Here the Lord says, those that will belong to God is what God desires. Without any argument, those who belong to God, all of us are servants of God, those to whom we should we reveal the Redeemer, we are servants of God. Those we preach eternal life to through our preachings if they become children of the redeemer if they belong to the lord of the harvest if they belong to God certainly according to the word of David such whose preach our preachings have made children of the redeemer children of the lord of the harvest the lord of the harvest we now say, Satan, come and take them away. These souls, my servants, have won for me. They have made them my children at the Lord of the harvest. So, Satan, come and take them away. I give them to you. Satan, when you take them, give them to death. And let that kill all of them. When that kills them, let that hand them over to hell. And let hell swallow them. Uh, the Lord of the harvest will not say that but according to his word in this Matthew 9 all the souls that through preachers through soul winners to the kingdom of God preachers of eternal life we preachers of the redeemer the souls that we win and make the redeemed and give to the Lord of the harvest according to the word of David it is eternal life he will give to them and they will see hell forever that's what the Lord said that we servants of God all the souls that we preach to and they belong to the Lord of the harvest says he won't give them to Satan he won't give them to death he won't give them to hell but that he will give them eternal life and they will live for him forever in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10. Hear the voice of the Redeemer. Yes. Yes. Because she jale. Yes. At a latte pa. Yes. At a latte Yes. Amy wa. Yes. King one Yes. Ane. Yes. Yes. Because she jale. Yes. At a latte pa. Yes. At a latte pa. Yes. Amy wa. Yes. Can one let Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You children of the Redeemer, lovers of sound teachings of the Bible, in this John 10, verse 10, we have heard the voice of the Redeemer according to what I've said earlier that we servants of the Lord of the harvest those who will win for the Lord of the harvest he will say okay you are those who have been won for me the Lord of the harvest you can't enter my heaven now it is not yet time for you to enter heaven so all of you 
who have been won for me by my servants you will still go back to Satan until I come back the second time it is death that will continue to kill you until my return it's then I will raise you it is still hell that will be swallowing you up the lord of the harvest who said we should pray that the lord of harvest should raise true preachers to win souls for him to turn sinners to the redeemed he wouldn't do that those who become children of God those who win for him he won't give to death and hell again according to the word of David but they will live forever and they will not see that grave that's what it says in this John 10.10 10. says that thief it is the thief that steals it is not the owner of something that will steal his thing it is a thief that will come all of a sudden and steals what the owner has it is a thief that will come suddenly and we do want to kill the owner it is a thief that will come that will execute destruction in John chapter 10 verse 10 he said he's the owner the good shepherd said he came down from heaven so gave life to us the sons of men and for us to have it abundantly because of this those we wait for him according to his word in Matthew chapter 9 we is servants those we wait for him in John chapter 10 said he will not give them to thieves again murderers destroyers that is Satan death and hell said he wouldn't give us again to them but those the source we win who we make the redeemed through his sound teachings said he came to give abundant life to them said he gave abundant life to them and what David said has come to again that those we win for him according to what he says in Matthew 9 pray to the Lord of the harvest so that he will send the laborers to his harvest the pray to the Lord of the harvest you yeah, pray to the creator pray to the redeemer to raise the biblical servants who will win many souls to the kingdom to his kingdom those we win to for him in John chapter 10 says he came to give abundant life to them so you children of God who have accepted the redeemer all over the world in John chapter 10 verse 10 the redeemer the lord of the harvest says he won't hand you over to Satan again he won't hand you over to death and he won't pack you in hell again he won't tell you to sleep in death and that when he comes back he will now come down to remove you from hell said he would not say that but all of you souls who have been won for him and then you have become the redeemed according to the saying of David said it eternal life. He came to give you and wants to receive eternal life. Then what David said will come true. Through his eternal life, you will live forever and then not see and not see hell again. Read it again. John chapter 10 verse 10. Yes. 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 Ati la te parun Yes Emi wa Yes Ki wa le ni ye Yes Ani ki wa le ni lop 
The purpose of Satan. Over us, sons of men, the purpose of death. Over us, the sons of men, the purpose of hell. Over us, the sons of men, is that we should perish in the lake of fire. But the Redeemer came to deliver us from them and to give us life, abundant life, eternal life. Now we want to hear the word of the Redeemer. He even makes us know that even it is a decree. Yes, we laborers that he calls into his harvest. That is all of us teachers, teachers all servants of God who he the Redeemer calls and gives a ministry to his work to, to win souls for him he commands us that we must when souls to eternal life, he even commands us so that anyone he calls who is a servant, he has one purpose before him. He should gather souls to eternal life. Anyone who attempts not to gather souls to eternal life, whoever tries not to win souls, not to go to heaven, whoever attempts not to win souls to eternal life, whoever attempts not to give teachings that we should accept Jesus and have eternal life for our lives to end and go. Go to the abode of God. Go to the land of life. The Lord says he has not commissioned the soul. It is Satan. Death and hell. He is working for them. But whoever he that Lord sends and he will refer to as his servant must be winning souls to eternal life. John chapter 4, verse 36. Yes. And if you call him by word, yes. Oh, if you call him so, just see, yeah, in the Yes. Hallelujah. In this verse, Jesus the Redeemer that speaks in Matthew chapter 9, that my disciples pray in my behalf to the Lord of the harvest to send him many laborers into his harvest. That is, my disciples, my apostles, pray to God the Creator, the Redeemer, to raise his servants, teachers, preachers, to raise them up to gather souls with all lives. The Lord who said that in Matthew 9, because as human beings we are important to Him. Now in John chapter 4, Verse 36. What of them are posting me? Told the disciples. And it is calling by word. He that reaps receives wages. And he let him gather souls to eternal life. That is a servant of God that is raised up to win souls. Let him win souls unto eternal life. All you listeners. You know that eternal life is not in hell. Wherever hell is, I mean, eternal life is not in hell. Eternal life is in the heaven of God. Eternal life is in the abode of God. Whoever is one to eternal life will not go to hell. Eternal life is not in hell. Now, whoever claims to be a Christian goes and his life hands, his spirit escapes and descends to hell. Then he perishes. That means he dies as somebody who is not redeemed. 
anyone who claims to be a Christian but dies now in this dispensation of the gospel in this dispensation of John at this, at this time where the church preaches redemption all over the world he dies and does not go up to heaven he, he descends to hell when the king returns he will hear I never knew you he will go to the lake of fire the king will not remove him from hell and take him to his throne but he will receive the final judgment the judgment that would say I never knew you the judgment of going to the lake of fire in John chapter 4 verse 36 the king says a servant of God who he raises up to win souls says he should win souls unto eternal life all of us are servants of God wherever our voice reaches read John chapter 4 verse 36 read it again it says there clearly that a servant of God who he gives the Holy Spirit to that he should do God's work who is a soul winner that he should win souls to eternal life when he's winning souls to eternal life he will give wages to him that is he that Lord will take good care of him when he wins his souls to eternal life and he's taking care of him that he will be happy and he the Lord of the harvest he the redeemer for whom he has won souls said he too will be happy said both the soul winner the servant of God who he says to win souls and he the redeemer the lord of the harvest he said they would rejoice together but anyone who is winning souls to hell now the lord of the harvest will be angry with him he won't give wages to him because he's not winning souls to eternal life because he's not working for the redeemer Satan, death and hell he's working for so instead of receiving wages he would incur God's wrath in John chapter 4 verse 36 the Lord says is a servant he raises up who he says should win souls says he should win souls unto eternal life and we are saying it again without any argument it is above with God there is the place place of eternal life eternal life is not in hell when we win souls unto eternal life the word of David then we come to because our soul that is one to eternal life we live forever and we won't see hell therefore now the word of the Lord in John chapter 4 verse 36 corroborates the saying of David in Psalm 49 that a soul that is redeemed shall live forever and will not see hell. The Lord said, Anyone who is a soul winner is a servant who is saints and will be saying, Well done for the Lord. Well done for the Lord. The Lord says, Such should win souls unto eternal life. He should do what David said souls that he wins that they should live forever and not see hell again yes to conclude our message we use the apostle Paul as we used him last week now he also said that souls that are warm unto the eternal life of the Lord that all the days of their lives 
are with the Lord. When their lives end, they are with the Lord. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. Verses 9 and 10. Yes. 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 It was Adam. God was angry with in the Garden of Eden when he disobeyed God and ate the forbidden food that God said he should not eat. God was angry with him. Said dust you have. You return to the dust. Then Adam went down to the grave. To the grave. But now that the Redeemer has come according to what Paul says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 9 God is now appointing us. He has not appointed us unto wrath. Yes, anger, wrath has gone. Yes, it's in Adam. That God was angry with sons of men. But in Jesus, God loves sons of men. God does good to sons of men. For God so much loved that world. For God so much loves that world. For God so much much loved the world and he gave, did a great good to the world. God came as man. John said the word incarnated. God became man. John chapter 1 verse 1 through 4 and verse 14. God became man. God so much loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will never perish. But have everlasting life. So according to the word of Paul, God loves sons of men in Jesus. He's not angry with sons of men in Jesus. Paul said, God has appointed us in Jesus not to be angry with us. Yes. 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 Jesus the Redeemer died for us so that he will do for us this great good and the good is whether we are awake that is whether we are alive in the world whether we are awake that is whether our spirits are inside our bodies that we should live together with the Lord we should live together with the Lord or we are asleep that is our bodies sleep in physical death our spirits go out to eternal life John chapter 4 verse 36 when souls to eternal life that's what my king said Paul then says whether our bodies sleep and our spirits escape to eternal life we should live together with the Lord whether we are alive in the world here in our bodies we are with the Lord our bodies Sleep. Yeah, then our spirits are sleeping to the place of eternal life. Then we should live together with the Lord. We the redeemed. We are children of eternal life. In John chapter 10, verse 10, eternal life. The king says, He came to give us in John chapter 4, verse 
36 said our preachers should call us to eternal life. All our teachers should call us to eternal life. Our teachers who will call us to eternal life said you will be happy and you will take care of them. They will rejoice. He the king of life so will rejoice the preachers that are called to eternal life and the king of life into whose eternal life all the are called will rejoice together so we that redeem life in eternal life the king is calling us to in today's teaching now we have called you again to eternal life let's continue on the way of life may we go with joy May we not have ah, together. Ah, May we not ah, ah, the way of life. May we not go ah, the, the, the way of Satan, ah, the way of death. May we not go ah, the way of hell. We who are yet to receive the Redeemer, who are yet to become the redeemed. If you belong to hell still, and the lake of fire, today, let's confess Jesus as our Lord and the Savior and be baptized and so that our See, thoughts will be one to eternal life till next week may the redeemer be with your souls Amen Oh, oh, oh. 